We just completed another off-grid package on this Jayco all-terrain caravan. So let's jump into it and check it out. So just up the front here, we upgraded the charge harness. Uh, it wasn't thick enough cable, so we've run new cable to the new Orion that we've chucked in. And then we also then just redid his trailer wiring as well to make it a lot nicer and cleaner. So we fixed that up. Just around the side here, um, the customer bought another battery box. So it'd be the same as like his factory ones. And then we threw another battery in there and then we just had to make a bracket because the battery box didn't come with a bracket to secure the battery. So we just made that back bracket up. You can't see it, but yeah, there's a little bracket inside to secure it in there. Then just down the side here, we swapped the RCD. So with pretty much every caravan, they just come with the one RCD just because you can only use 240 normally when you just plugged in. So they just have the one RCD. But then when we change it to off grid, we need two RCDs, one for the incoming and then one to the all year GPOs going out from the multi. So we swapped that big one RCD out for the two. So now it's fully protected as well. Pretty much everything on the outside besides maybe the solar panels that we threw on the top. So originally it had three 200 watt solar panels. We've now put on another two 200s making a total of a thousand watts up there. So we'll have plenty of solar, um, as well as with the batteries to be able to go off grid. So we'll jump inside and we'll check out all the stuff that we put in there. So just under the bed here is where we've installed all the electrics for the off grid system that we've put in. So starting on the left here, we've got the servo. So all the Victron system talks to the servo and then we laser to the touch 50 that we've installed. Uh, just next to it, we've got an MBPT 150. That's for the two 200 watt solar panels we've put on the top, going through that one. Just next to it is the new DC-DC that we've put in, so it's the Orion 50 amp. So yeah, we can fully adjust it if need to be. If it's going to overload their car, we can uh, dial it down a little bit to like 40, 30, whatever we got to do. But we've set it to 50 because it should be right for their car. Uh, just besides that, we've got our blade fuse box. This is just a six-way one um, because we haven't um, pulled the existing system out. We've left it in place, so we only needed to chuck in just a small fuse box for all the little things like the shunt, the servo, things like that. And then just next to it is our seven way uh, MIDI fuse um, block. So that one is for all your MPBTs, your Orion, um, everything like that that we need to. We just chuck that seven way fuse in. You're gonna have a few spares as well. So if you wanna add anything in the future, you can easily add on there. Below that is the uh, smart shunt. This is the Victron one. This is a 500 amp hour one. We generally go the 500 for caravans and off-grid systems just in case they want to really load it up they can pull at least 500 amps out of the battery and then below that is the mega fuse box so that one is fusing the multi plus this is a 3 kva one as well as we've also then fusing our midi fuse box as well so generally that's how we do it we feed it off the big mega and then this is all fused with the big cable and then they're all individually going out to all your smaller components. And then yeah, on the floor we've got our Victron uh, Multi Plus, the 3 kVA. We pretty much always go to the 3 kVA in these off-grid systems. So you can run all your aircon, everything like that. If you want to do induction cooking, you can easily do that. And yeah, that's pretty much where we always install it. Normally under the bed is a nice way. A lot of people normally don't chuck a heap of stuff under the bed. So it's a good place to hide it all and chuck it all under there. So the customer is actually installing this diesel heater himself. Uh, we generally install um, diesel heaters, but he's opted to install it himself. He's halfway through doing it. He's wanted us to wire it up for him, so it's got power. So we did that. So we wired it up to the blade fuse. We ran it through the ducting that we installed just to try and keep it all tidy, all the cables and everything like that. So that's pretty much everything underneath here now. So we'll jump up to the Touch 50 to show how all the Victron system all displays everything that's going on. So just up here above the fridge is where we installed the Touch 50. So we always install basically these Touch 50s on pretty much all our off-grid packages. They're a great way to monitor everything that's going on in the system. 
you can view everything coming in out your current battery percentage everything like that you can turn the inverter on and off you can even get switching all through it we've done that before so you can turn lights or fridges or anything like that on and off through the touch screen so we always chuck one of them in uh, just next to it is the original system this is the projector system so the customer opted to leave that system in he just wanted all the charging and all the inverter and everything to be through the victron system downside to doing it like this is like now this still has a display on here to show you like your battery percentage and everything like that now that's all going to be completely incorrect because it's not going through the projector system anymore it's going through all the victron system so that is a downside to leaving the old system in but it is the most cost effective way um, to leave it in otherwise we'd have to rip it all out and then rewire it all to a fuse box and stuff so a lot of time customers opt to leave it in some prefer to take it out because i don't want to see this battery because it can be um, confusing we've had it a couple times where people will get confused and think that that's correct and it's not it's you only pay attention to now the victron one this one will always be incorrect now that is the downside to keeping it in there but it is the most cost effective way so yeah we always chuck these victron ones in because it communicates everything with the victron system um, it's a great way to monitor everything going on we always highly re recommend installing one of these like you can just opt to just have it all through bluetooth on your phone downside to that is you have to go into each individual thing this is a great um, overview how to see everything as well as you can turn the inverter on and off through it where on your phone you can't do that you have to have like an external switch so yeah we always recommend to chuck one of them in so that's everything we've done on this caravan so now they're fully ready to go completely off grid with heaps of solar battery be able to plug in all your 240 and run it no dramas aircon all that kind of stuff if you're interested in getting off grid or you want a bit more information on systems to go be able to go off grid you can get in contact with us and i'll see you in the next one